Hey, check this out. I made a unique view counter. So here I have a, an inline list. And for the data set here, I have two columns to make this happen. I have a view column here, and this is a number column, and it's not user specific. And this is going to house the increment of how many views that post has had. Afterwards, I have a user specific column of the date last visited. And this could really be several different things. I chose to have date um, just because I thought it also might play nicely with displaying when you last visited this post. But this could just be a, a Boolean or something of that nature. But it has to be something that can be written to from the new set columns action. And I'll talk about that in a second. So you have a number column here, and then you have some sort of user specific column that's going to uh, determine whether or not that user has already visited that particular post. All right, coming into the inline list. Now I go to features, action, and I'm going to add a compound action. And here I have uh, two conditions. So here I have this date last visited, that's that user specific column. If it's empty, meaning the user has not yet visited it, then we're going to do a variety of things. We're going to increment views by one because they haven't yet viewed that post. We're going to then uh, also eventually view the details so they can actually read the post. And in the middle here, I have set columns. And the set columns lets you basically do, perform an edit feature for the row that you're on. And what I'm going to edit is just that date last visited. So it's the only thing I'm going to manipulate on this post. And I'm going to manipulate it with the current date and time. So you see that the only thing that you can add to this currently, you can't add a custom value. The only thing you can add is either a unique special value here or a value that's already in one of those other rows. So if you just wanted to do like a true false, then you'd have to have like a template column that says true or something, and then set that, that true, vault, true false user specific column by the template column. So I decided to bypass all that and just do the date last visited. So if they haven't yet visited, right, then it's going to set that column and then increment the views by one and then let you view the details. So the next time you go to visit that post, then the date last visited won't be empty, right? So I'm not going to increment the views by one because you've already viewed it. Instead, I'll let you uh, at least set the last time you visited. So still that set columns, date last visited is the current date and time, and then let you view the details. Again, but I'm not gonna increment the views by one because you've already viewed the post. And that's it. So then you save it. And now as you see how it works, so here, and I also have it sorted by the number of views that it's received. So you see, if I've already viewed this, right? So I have two views, and so it doesn't increment the views but I haven't visited Jim yet. So when I select Jim, I now see that it incremented by one. And I go back and now it has one view, right? If I go to visit it again, it stays at one because that condition was met that it was already filled. I can even go one more here and say something like the date last visited. So the date last visited was November 5th at 6.21 PM my time, right? Uh, if I go back in again, it still says 621 because it's about the seconds, I guess. So what if I, just so you see that it's working, let's make this date and time with seconds and let's make it short so that we can fit everything in. All right, so 621.37, right? If I go back into it again, now it says 621.55. And so you can constantly get the last time you visited the post as well, which is kind of neat. So maybe we do views and then we do the date last visited. Right, and we could even do a template column here or something, something kind of fun, right? Like the last visited, visited, complete. All right, we have like a template column that does the last visited and then the number. Yeah, and then display that instead. All right, so last visit at 621.55, but now if I go back into it, it says 624.40. So it'll keep track of when you last visited the post as well, which is kind of neat. All right, so here I visit Audrey, 622. Look how instant that is, it's just awesome. All right, so now, just so you see the sorting works as well, if I preview this as Jim, Jim's already viewed Bob's post, so it still says two views. And if I visit Jim's post, if I visit my own post, I guess, 
Uh, that'll creep up to two views now, and that should take the place as second place here. All right, so now if I'm let's preview as Nora, All right now I can visit Jim's post. Now there's three views, right? And it's last visited at this time, right? If I visit it again, I can still only have four views, right? So it's not going to increment it any more than it already has. Pretty cool, right? All right, so that's how you can easily add a view counter where that view is gonna be unique views so that way your users can't run up their own posts and also give you a last visited user specific.